And there was another big story in Canberra today, one that means the most to victims of the Church of Scientology. A Senate inquiry inspired by our four-year investigation today released its report. It calls for two new bodies to be set up to investigate cults and to make them pay tax or shut down. Here's Brian Seymour with the key players. My message to the Church of Scientology and any other organisation that does harm to its members, uh, this will mean a change in government policy. Who sent you here to photograph us? Scientology is not a religious organisation. It is a criminal organisation that hides behind its so-called religious beliefs. With that declaration almost one year ago, Senator Nick Xenophon set in chain a remarkable series of events that have led to today's historic first step towards making groups like Scientology prove they do more good than harm. This will mean a change in legislation so that people can be protected. Senator Xenophon won an inquiry into all groups who claim their charities or religions and thus avoid paying tax. I believe that the Church of Scientology is a prime example why this tax amendment is required. The inquiry was held by the Senate Economics Committee in May. The victims of Scientology were right in the middle of it. My personal experience, I was a Scientologist for 26 years. I haven't found anything charitable about the Church of Scientology. March 2007, we aired our first story on Scientology. Afterwards, we were contacted by former members of the cult claiming terrible abuse was rife inside Scientology. What we uncovered stunned Australia and the world, from the man who gave Scientology counselling to Nicole Kidman, to the secret Scientology tape of Tom Cruise. Why ask permission? We are the authorities. To Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard, heard for the first time giving a lecture about Xenu the alien. And they had elected a fellow by the name of Zemu, uh, could be spelled XEMU to the supreme ruler. To revelations of child labour in Melbourne, to the standover tactics employed to deal with critics, the celebrities who were used by the cult to spruik their worth. Bada boom! I mean, it's like wham, there you go. Ideally, I would have to say that I am striving to be that God. To the stunning revelation that Scientology in Britain claims it is a South Australian charity to avoid paying tax there. We gained access to their secret strongholds in Los Angeles and Florida before airing a world exclusive with the former right-hand man of Scientology's global leader. Stop destroying people's lives and stop misleading people about what you're doing. This was the story that changed everything. It reported the terrible, shocking stories of these ordinary people people who risked everything to tell the truth about a violent, abusive and deceptive cult ruining lives here and around the world. Scientology must be protected at all costs. His second daughter, Kirsty, who, who was two and a half, died. Under the direction of Scientology executives, Paul says he perjured himself to the police and during the coronial inquest in order to protect the organisation. I look at my past 30 years and I go, what sort of brain-dead zombie was I? I'm a very ecstatic person right now because we've got a lot of what we've been fighting for. Today, Paul Schofield feels, for the first time, there may yet be justice for his two daughters, who would have both been in their early teens. Absolutely, Brian, and it's not just my daughters. There's a lot of other kids who've suffered in Scientology and in other cults like it. It's an organisation which threatens its people with pay up or else and this is extortion. Both sides of politics support not only a public benefit test for organisations such as Scientology but they also support the establishment of Charities Commission as exists in the UK and New Zealand. The non-profit sector is worth between four and eight billion dollars. These laws could save all of us millions, hundreds of millions of dollars and put out of business those who would prey on the weak for their own gain. The report also recommends looking at a French-style cult task force to target groups who believe they are above the law. To people like Paul Schofield and many others, I'm convinced that this result would not have been possible without the bravery of those people that came forward, that spoke out on your program. This is exactly what we were going for and it's better than we hoped for. 
It's Brian Seymour reporting and inquiries into Scientology are still being conducted by the British government, the Australian government and various bodies including Fair Work Australia. Still